Okay, so before we move on to learning how to navigate the 3D viewport, we just need to set a few important preferences first. So go into Edit, and then choose Preferences. And in here, uh, we've got Navigation. So choose the Navigation tab, and we need to turn on Depth, and also Zoom to Mouse Position. This just means that you can now zoom to wherever your mouse is on the screen, and you can also rotate around the mouse position as well. Next up, we've got the Key Map. So the Key Map, instead of having to always come over here to change the editor mode, as we saw earlier, what we can do is turn on tab for pie menu. And now when I press tab, it will bring up the options in the tab menu, which are much quicker to select than coming over here and uh, manually doing it each time. Next up, we've got the extra shading pie menu items. So the shading options are basically these options up here, which are wireframe, solid view, EV mode, or material preview rather, which shows you uh, sort of a, a bit of a preview of the materials that you've set up. And then we've got the rendered view, which will use the proper render engine that you've got set over here. So I put this back to solid view. And if I press Z now, you can see we've only got four options. If we turn on extra shading pie menu options, then we've also got this one, which is toggle x-ray, so we can see through things, and this one as well, which we can turn off the overlays. So now if I press Z, you can see we've got toggle x-ray down here, and then we've got toggle overlays here. And then finally, incredibly importantly, we go into the system tab. We've got to tell the render engine what hardware you've got in your computer. So if you've got a NVIDIA card, which is not an RTX, then I generally use CUDA, um, and then you just tell it you just select whichever graphics cards you've got installed on your computer that you want to use for rendering. And you can also choose to activate the CPU as well, which can help speed up rendering. But personally, I don't bother because it doesn't seem to make a great deal of a difference with my hardware. But if you've got a lot of cores, then it can uh, it can give you quite a nice speed bump. Uh, we've got optics next to that. This is if you've got an RTX card. Uh, it will work for the non-RTX card as well, but with the RTX card, you also get the advantage of the hardware acceleration, such as hardware ray tracing. And then we've got HIP, that's for AMD cards, and one API, that's if you've got an Intel GPU. And also, if you've got a Mac or a laptop that doesn't have a numpad, so if you've got a Mac mouse that doesn't have a middle mouse button, under the input section here, you can turn on emulate three button mouse. And if you've got a laptop that doesn't have a numpad, then you can turn on emulate numpad. And if you just hover your mouse over these options, it will tell you how to use it. Basically, you use alt left mouse for the middle mouse instead. And this one will use the numbers at the top of the keyboard instead of the numpad. And also, Blender comes with functionality that is turned off by default in the form of inbuilt add ons. So you can use these inbuilt add ons to extend what Blender can do. By default, a lot of them are turned off just to make Blender load faster and give you the most likely functionality that you're going to need initially. So you can turn these on as you need them. One thing you should turn on is the Node Wrangler. So just in the Add-ons tab, go over here to the Search section and just type Node, and you should find you've got Node Wrangler here. So tick this one, and this will give us a little bit of functionality that will make our lives easier later in the course. So once you've got all that set up, we'll take a look at how you can interact with the 3D viewport.